Well, hey, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. If you guys are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. All right, Scorpio, let's go ahead. Let's get into your reading. Let's see what's been going on with you guys or what you guys have to look forward to. So let's go ahead. Let's get to it. This is for Scorpio. For Scorpio, okay. Ooh, Scorpio. Here we have the Nine of Cups. Really good. This is talking about wish um, something. And this is love. You know, this could be feelings of love. This could be a wish. Uh, this is really a wish fulfillment. Um, but this is good in your first placement because this is talking about things that you have always wanted, um, desires that you've been having inside of you. Um, but yeah, something is really here with that Nine of Cups. Oh, yeah, here with the Star card. Wish fulfillment both times. So... Whoa, and you're at the bottom of the deck, clarifying this. So um, this is really, truly something that you guys have been wanting, desiring, happening for you, whether it's love, whether it's money, moving, a business, this is really good. So we're going to keep going here. And I feel like you guys have been through a lot there with the death card at the bottom of the deck. It talks about a transformation. But I see some really good things happening for, for you. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Let's get some more for Scorpio. Let's see. I love it. Here with the Four of Cups. So um, here with the Four of Cups, it does talk about, you know, maybe something that has been taken away. Um, you know, I, here with the rat on top of the four cups, it may have been um, a love situation that you guys may have been in or maybe a love situation you could be in, but it's turning sour. It's spoiled in some kind of way. The rat sitting on top of it is not a good sign. Um, generally, cups talks about emotion. So there's something that's going awry, right? Mice and rats and any kind of, you know, anything talks about loss, something that is just spoiling a loss or something. Um, so, you know, this could have been what you guys have been through, what you could be going through now. If you guys are with someone, something about the connection may not be going right, but there's other things that you guys are wanting. Um, or if you're with someone, you want it to be right again. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get some more. See what this is all about. Here for Scorpio. All right, here is the Wheel of Fortune. It's so perfect. So even though you've experienced something here, it could be with anything, though. Dissatisfaction of some sort um, could be with friends and family, too. It doesn't have to be a love situation. Something emotionally could have caused or something that could have hurt you um, as far as your emotions. Disappointments, okay, that could have caused that energy. But you have so many good cards here. You have the Nine of Cups. You got the Star card. Wish fulfillment. Something that you're hoping for and dreaming for. And here with the Wheel of Fortune, this is how I know that something good is about to happen. Things are about to start moving in a really good direction here. At the bottom of the deck is the devil, though. Ooh, what is going on here? <laughs> what is happening here with the devil? So... This is, you know, um, could be you. This is talking about battling demons. This is talking about, uh, you know, maybe there is a connection that could be very strong. Um, codependency. The codependency could be on a person. It could be on drugs. It could be on sex, whatever. Okay. But we're going to find out at this place in your reading. So let's go ahead. Let's get some more for you, Scorpio. Oops. Oh, Scorpio. Okay, so here with the Eight of Cups, oh, those cups are broken, broken glass here. There is something that is that, like I said before, some dissatisfaction. This is talking about you guys leaving a situation. This is the Eight in order for you to go to your Nine. So whatever that means for you, um, you know, that's what I'm seeing, okay? There's been some uh, unfulfillment that you've been experiencing. You know, what once was here with the Eight of Cups isn't anymore. There's a there's fraction of feelings. There's things that have been broken. Um, and it talks about walking away. And then here with the sun, you have the sun and the star. I mean, when I tell you things are really about to go in your um, direction, um, there had there is an element here, like I said before, of something that isn't fulfilling. OK, something that is not it's not where you want to be or not where you've been wanting to uh something that's not really fulfilling to you as far as emotionally and also i'm trying to get this thought right 
This could also be family um, that maybe you, you guys have a really close bond to, and it could be some type of emotional trauma. There is some trauma here. There is something that it's like the glass represents a reality, but the reality has been shattered. Like this is not what this used, this is not what this is anymore. You see what I'm saying? Like I was trying to get it out, but that's kind of what I'm saying. And so here with the sun, this is talking about healing. Now happiness is, is, is about to come in your life. So you may have to walk from one thing or may have to go to something else in order to have the happiness. So let's go ahead. Let's get some more cards here for you, Scorpio. Or maybe someone else is having those feelings too. This is not just about you. Okay. One more. At the bottom of the deck, I have the two of swords, so decisions here. A lot of decisions that you guys have to make here with the two of swords. I have the eight of swords. Someone may feel stuck in a situation that's causing them to feel unhappy. Maybe you're stuck in your head, that type of thing. Part of that that cocoon uh, is like, you know, you want to be able to spread your, your wings. You want to be able to go out there and fly, but there's something that's holding you back, something that's stuck. But then you have the ace of swords, which talks about clarity and truth. So eventually there will be a cutting away of something. There will be clarity here. Um, you know, about a situation. So I don't see you in this forever because that's why I feel like the Eight of Cups is all about. And then all of these other good things are happening here for you. Here I have the Mother of Swords. Absolutely. That's what I'm saying. Just said it's something being cut away that, um, you know, no longer serves you in this, in this particular life. And this is the decision. You know, you got a decision to make. You know, what is it going to be? What's going to get cut out? You know, um, and this is what I'm saying. So we're going to go ahead and clarify these cards. We're going to start with the Nine of Cups and see what this is all about for Scorpio. So far, though, either way, it's a really good reading. Let's clarify the Nine of Cups for Scorpio. Oh, yeah. See here with the Two of Swords. This is talking about decisions. Okay. And again, opportunities. But there will be a decision made because here with the Chariot card, it talks about moving forward. Okay. Okay. Um, and it's going to be up to you guys, but you guys have options, decisions. Like I said, this could be in love. This could be moving. This could be all types of stuff. Okay. A job. <laughs> um, but what, whatever you make your decision though, the nine of cups is there, which talks about something that you're wanting, a wish fulfillment, love coming in first for even some of you. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's get the star card for Scorpio. Oh yeah, this is this is something that you're hoping for and wanting when it comes down to a connection. You see it all the way around here with the Two of Cups and the Lover's card. You guys are really hoping and wishing for a particular connection. And you guys will connect right at the, the bottom, right below it here with the Star card is the Sun. This is the reason why you guys are so happy. Okay, there's other options or something else that you guys are wanting, okay? And, and whatever it is, it's going to bring a lot of emotion, a lot of love, okay? That's what I'm saying. And for some of you, this could be someone that you know from the past. So let's get the Four of Cups. Yeah, here with the Three of Pentacles, this is possibly, and with the Knight of Pentacles, I have the Magician here. So maybe somebody, there was some type of missed opportunity here um, from what I'm seeing. And now there's some dissatisfaction because a person isn't in your life or you're not in this their life. But it does talk about um, with the three of pentacles and the knight of pentacles, it does, it, the person is coming in very slowly. It's been taking forever for them to maybe come in and work something out with you. Um, but I do feel that someone is dissatisfied without this love in their life, okay? This is also talking about finances. Maybe your finances haven't been the best, but here it does talk about it's coming. It's slow, but it's definitely going to be happening here with the Knight and the Three of Pentacles. And this is everything that you guys are manifesting, that you're attracting and drawing towards you. Let's get the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio. Yeah, this is about to come out. This is also talking about traveling, communication that's going to literally change everything. Again, we have the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. A lot of movement here, a lot. So let's go ahead and get the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups. This may have something to do with someone from the past. Here with the Six of Cups here. Um... 
Maybe someone walked away from you or you walked away from someone from the past. There, and I'm, I'm thinking that maybe uh, there are other options. Maybe they are of one of your options or, or someone that you are looking at. Maybe this person from the past is like the special one. Like this person is like above the rest. It could be you or your person that's thinking this, okay? I do see here that maybe someone was not as reciprocal and that was the reason why someone walked away. But I do believe that maybe someone wants to come back in possibly or you want to go to someone to show some type of reciprocity. Or it's just saying in general you walked away because of that, okay? Let's get the sun card. Somebody could be feeling taken advantage of too, you know? Oh yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah, someone wants to reconcile with someone. This is someone that you guys are not dealing with at the moment. There was there's some 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 type of sadness here. Someone walked away before. This could be someone coming back in here to reconcile. Okay. And this is what's causing this happiness, the sun. Someone that you guys are really digging too, because that um we had the two of cups at the bottom of the deck, and we also had that lovers. This is somebody that I really do feel, and the six of cups that you guys have a very strong attachment to, uh, or a very strong connection. The chariot talks about someone coming towards you, or you going towards someone else that you have a, a very strong attachment for. Let's go ahead and get the seven of, I'm sorry, the eight of swords. Oh yeah, so. I feel here that maybe someone is stuck in their head about conversating with someone else. That could be it. Again, we're talking about something that has been delayed or stuck. And it's been slow. It's been slow, slow movement. But it looks like maybe something else had to get cut away first. Because see here, there's still decisions that need to be made. So somebody could be in a connection with someone and they want to go to someone else. That could be the option here. Let's go ahead and get the Queen of Swords. Oh, wow. Yeah, this will come out. It looks like maybe someone has, and there was, there's some type of connection that you guys could be in. This is what I was saying before. That's going to get cut away. It looks like it may be a tough decision, but this is what I'm saying here. Five of Cups talks about still there's this feeling of dissatisfaction, um, sadness, regret, you know, even regret. I feel like there is one person that's going to be coming in and one person leaving. However that works for you guys is what I'm saying. A lot of sadness, stress, disappointment, but it is a decision that you guys are going to make. But I do see that there is going to be another connection here. Okay. Um, Scorpio, I, you know, I, I see a lot in this reading. I do see a very strong connection with someone, but I believe that this is who you guys are going to be talking to. Not the person that's in your life now. I'm not really sure if they're in your life. You guys could be single. Um, someone that you guys were dealing with in the past. So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye guys.